<laughs> so this is how we're looking. I can barely fit my shirts, y'all. I told you. I'm a lot bigger this time. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome back, butterflies, to my YouTube channel. This is your girl, Jaleesa Cogdell, and I am super excited for another video. So if you're new here, welcome, welcome. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We talk about God the Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit is always welcome on this channel. But y'all, let's get right to it. See, y'all held me accountable, and I appreciate y'all because y'all have been messaging and commenting and emailing love it i'm here for accountability and consistency i love it so yeah we're gonna go ahead and keep going this is going to be week 23 update i had to think about it because this is a fast pregnancy i don't know about y'all but this is fast considering i don't remember baby girl being like this but anyways let's get to the juice so i'm gonna pray in and let the lord have his way Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, it's all about you. Abba, have your way. We thank you for this phenomenal day, God. We thank you for all that you are. Lord, I pray these videos will be a, an encouragement to a young lady out there, Father. I also pray this will be a testimony, Father God, of your goodness, for your glory, Lord. I thank you, God, for just the ability to even be a partaker of experiencing life within my womb. Lord, I thank you, God, for all of the trials, all of the negative tests. God, I thank you for them. I thank you, God, for all the times I cried out to you, Father. God, I thank you, Lord, for being diligent and disciplined and waiting on your timing, God, because your timing is perfect. Lord, I thank you, Father God, for just this season of miracles, signs, and wonders. God, I thank you for the harvest season. God, I thank you, Lord, for all of the sweet friends that you have sent to me, Lord. I thank you, God. Lord, you hear our deepest prayers, our even quiet, just in the mind prayers, God. So, Lord, I just thank you for that god when we don't know how to say it or what the words are to say it in the prayer we don't need a long soliloquy we don't need all these the theological words and all these big words we can just say lord i need you and you know exactly what we're talking about you know exactly what we need and you are the only one who can deliver it to us so lord have your way and we thank you for it all. In Jesus' most precious name, amen. All right, guys. So let's get to it. So this baby is this size right here. And what is amazing to me is the transition. So I believe I officially am the six-month range because it kind of depends because the EDD is typically an estimation, you know, I mean, it's an estimated due date. So, I mean, it doesn't mean exactly your baby will be due at that time or come out that time. Sometimes, oh, sometimes it's later. You know, things have a way of, you know, doing their own thing, you know? So I just thank God just for the ability to say that I'm at this point. I do understand there are a lot of ladies that um, were not able to make it to this point. So my heart goes out because I don't know what that is like but i do know what it's like to lose a baby during the conception stages so i pray that these videos encourage you i pray that you don't look at them like um comparison or any of that no jesus loves you you are so important to him you matter you are so loved and when he blesses your body with that baby it's gonna make so much more sense. So just don't give up on what God has told you. So I have been able to eat a lot better. Thank you, Jesus. And oh my goodness, the sleep though, yeah. <laughs> We're getting there. Um, what I notice now is that I pee about eight times before I can really go to take a nap. 
because I can't really say the word sleep because I don't sleep till probably like four or five in the morning. Like, I've gotten to this routine where I'm just praying for so many people, just random people that God puts on my heart and my mind. And I was reading the word, I'm, you know, reading my Bible plans, you know, working on videos and working on other projects God has me to do for him. And I just let this baby do what the baby want to do. Baby's very active, very active. So <laughs> for me, I just be like, you know, I want to enjoy these moments because before I know it, I'm going to deliver. Baby will be here. So let me just let the baby do what the baby wants to do. You know, so I basically just be chilling in the bed. Hubby, you know, rub me down or, you know, rub the belly. And he'll, you know, he'll definitely tell baby, you know, let mama get some rest. But I just learned. I just, you know, I carry some praise warriors, okay? And they, you know... It's all right. <laughs> I've just learned, you know, because now that looks at my firstborn, oh, she has so much energy, so much. So it makes a lot of sense why my babies are the way they are. It's okay. They get it from my mama. It's okay. So, so yeah. So I, I just learned to embrace it and just let you know enjoy it, appreciate it because for me, I look at it like it's a reminder. I have a healthy baby in my belly. I prayed for this, you know? I sought the Lord for this. I fasted. I did what God wanted me to do. I didn't compromise. So for me, if the baby wants to praise and shout, it's okay. So yeah, I, I nap here and there. <laughs> So I probably go to sleep about four or five in the morning, but even in that time, it's okay because I'm praying, just spending time with God, um, trying to get comfortable because it's a little hard to get comfortable because I pretty much toss and turn. So for me now, I really can't sit in a position for a long period of time. I have to come around like, oh, that's normal anyway, but like walk around or stretch. So I've been stretching, so I'm getting back into my pregnancy workout routine. I'm going to try to put an eye card up here of what I did last time when I was pregnant, but I'm going to try to implement a little bit more stretching as far as my workout, because before I was actually like working out. But this time, I'm going to really just focus more so on just stretching, getting my body ready for delivery. Um, I believe that's basically what I need to do because my body is doing the majority, like, stretching. I feel all of the stretching, all of the, I, yes, I feel all of that. My hips is doing something, okay? They don't lie. So, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so yeah. And then let's start with, let's see here. Oh, so I'm drinking more water. Yay! That's awesome sauce. Um, just staying hydrated and eating better. So I have a better rhythm of how much I can eat. Still not at a full plate in one setting. But if I take a break, right, and then go back to my plate, warm it up or whatever, then I can finish it. But I just, at the current moment... I have not been able to finish the entire plate in one sitting. Hope that makes sense. But um, but I'm grateful. I'm so grateful because I feel baby all the time, all the kicks, all the movements. I don't know if baby's hiccuping or not, only because I could tell most definitely most definitely with baby girl, but this baby is very hard to read, which reminds me of my husband. <laughs> They're going to be the best of friends because me and baby girl are totally best friends. So I can definitely tell like, yeah, the personality is going to be like, just like my husband. I could just tell just, just by talking to baby, I could just tell like, yeah, you are going to be like your dad because I'm like, what are you doing? I just be literally, I'd be like, what are you doing, baby? Like, what, what are you doing right now? Like, what, what, what are we doing? 
and I'll get like a kapow kick, like as like as if like the response is gonna come by that. I'm, I don't know what that means yet, but uh, <laughs> but the response is there, so that's beautiful. But I'm super excited, y'all. Just what God can do when you are obedient, it blows my mind. So this is literally a season of just pure joy. Just so much gratitude. I, I don't even know how to contain this, but there's not enough words to say how grateful I am to God. This season has been so spectacular. I'm just so grateful, you guys. So, yeah, that's pretty much how week 23 for me was. I mean, it wasn't nothing out of the ordinary. It was more so just trying to get the right position to lay down peeing a lot more y'all oh boy a lot of a lot of potty breaks okay um but yeah that's basically that's bas basically it y'all all right week 24 let's get it so i enjoyed thanksgiving i got to eat y'all i mean we went in y'all saw the videos listen my mom was like you weren't playing y'all cook and you show well okay gotta eat some good food around here okay but it was so good to just eat some wholesome meal and like not feel nauseated afterwards or like not you know like just it's just so nice to just eat and not have to think okay lord get me through the digestion of this meal because that's how it's been so the whole first trimester majority of my second trimester i was like lord all right i have this food in my belly <laughs> Holy Spirit, just to help me to digest this food in Jesus' name. That was me, literally, because it was not easy, okay? By the grace of the Lord, by the grace of the Lord, okay? By the grace of the Lord. I did not regurgitate this entire pregnancy as of yet. Don't know what the third trimester holds, but for right now, praise God, um, I have not. Um, but the nausea, the morning sickness... It's as if you would prefer to vomit versus go through the morning sickness because you, there's not really nothing to get rid of it. You just have to go through it. I hope that makes sense. But that's how, for me, for me, that's how it was. I was like, Lord, what do I do here? But um, yeah, so Thanksgiving was amazing. I just, I was so in love with my family. Just that bonding time. We took pictures and just impromptu pictures we were going to get professional pictures done but then i was just like mm, i just want more intimacy i just want us you know so you know no disrespect to photographers out there but i just i just want some intimacy just my family because this will be the last thanksgiving just the three of us <laughs> so for me i was like let me just mm, let's just enjoy this moment and when the baby gets here then of course we can open it up to people as the lord leads us to because holy spirit leads us okay but um yeah i'm i'm very excited like just to feel the baby kick the gender reveal is coming very soon i know you guys are excited <laughs> but it's coming very soon and my husband and i are very excited just because i mean we literally we're just in awe of the lord as baby girl grows older, we're watching and observing her, and we're just like, we get to do it all over again. You know, like, we're just so in awe of God right now. It's like the best time. We both are receiving promotions on our jobs, and God's blessing. He's moving. I mean, we're experiencing God in a newer way. We hear God together. We pray in tongues together. It's just a different season that I'm just so grateful that God has been shifting and moving and I'm so excited for what God is going to do next. I just feel like this is the season and time where you just want to be all in for God. You just want to surrender to him and his will and his way because his word is truth. So that's basically how it's been. We 24 hours able to eat y'all like eat for real and not have that thought like oh what I, I digest this you know i didn't have that hesitation of okay can i eat this it was like 
I could eat it. You know, I had that assurance, that confidence, and I was okay. And um, I'm just in awe of the Lord. I, I just, he's so good, y'all. I'm telling you. I, man, I don't know what life would be like without God. Wouldn't be nothing, you know? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm able to stretch better. Like when I take my showers, I notice I'm able to lift my leg without being in pain. So that's a plus. I noticed, um, and this is the size of the baby at this stage right here. I noticed that I can feel different body parts of baby now. Like when I press on my belly, I can just kind of tell where baby's sitting. Like right now, I can tell baby's like right up under my boob. I could just kind of feel. But for the most part, this is what I noticed. So week 24, I feel like this baby is super low. Now, I do understand that with, with baby girl, she was low as well. So I can't necessarily say I know the gender by based off where the position of the baby is. I know the gender because of what the Lord told us. But in terms of where the baby is sitting, I'm like, mm. Baby girl is the same thing. So it's like, hmm, tell me below if you guys experienced that with your pregnancies, if both your siblings, well, sorry, both your babies, both your babies sat in the same positioning or was it a difference? Could you detect it? Because for me, I, it, the only difference I have for now is the lack of sleep. I was able to sleep a lot more with my firstborn. So that's literally the only difference I've noticed. Um, and the food aversions. So the food aversions with this one is crazy. Like, yeah, it's very crazy. <laughs> like, it was wow. But now I'm at a better place where I can eat the foods that I like. Not all of them. Not all of them. But <laughs> we're getting there. So I've been able to eat a lot more fruit, a lot more salads. That was tough. I used to force a salad, but now I can, I can do a lot more. I'm able to really understand when I need to just rest. I know the difference between the kicking versus rest versus you need to go to potty. <laughs> Cause there's different, there's different phases, different things that you can feel. Um, I do still have discharge. TMI, you want to press the video? Hey, I still have to, <laughs> still have discharge. I still pee a lot, a lot, a lot. I have um, boob discomfort, which I'm excited about because I'm going to have to do a whole video on this probably when they release it, but I look forward to breastfeeding again because there's no other bond like it with your baby i mean to be able to give your baby wholesome nutritious food it's beyond human logic it's just so amazing so i look forward to that so i can definitely feel the boob discomfort i can definitely tell that things are doing what he's supposed to do to get prepared for that time and if you guys watched um was it 24 hours of newborn video? I'll put it up here somewhere. Um, I had my milk come in the day after I gave birth. <laughs> so I didn't experience any colostrum. I couldn't store or save any. And that's okay. But um, I'm believing in Jesus' name, according to his will, that I'll be able to experience colostrum and like store it, freeze it. Even if it's just for one bottle, because I just know it's so good for a baby. Now, of course, she, you know, sucked basically to suck all the claustrum out of me, basically when I when I gave birth to her. But yeah, my mom came in like that, y'all. The <laughs> the lactation consultant came in. She was like, "Wow," I was like, "God is good." I don't, I don't know. But this time, I'm believing that I'll be able to have longevity with breastfeeding so that's what i believe yeah and then clothes so <laughs> i noticed i am a lot bigger this time than i was with my first born so i'm gonna have to get probably all new like 
I'm about to get all new everything. <laughs> all new maternity wear, all new everything, because this is just different. And that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Because I didn't gain much weight my, my first pregnancy, my last one. I think I only gained only like 10 pounds, I think, if that. So, yeah. But that's basically how it's been, you guys. So, I'm grateful. I'm burping a lot too that's another thing <laughs> i'm grateful i'm thankful burping a lot <laughs> but i'm so in awe of god because i get to experience this journey again and i get to see a love that i have not experienced before like i get to see my firstborn have a sibling with the same parents i have never experienced that before in my actual life so this is going to be a love like no other like this is literally beyond anything i've ever seen and my actual like family like this is awesome like two siblings the same parents the same household that's amazing to me i think it's beautiful when families are blended of course for me personally i think it's just so awesome that our kids will grow up together so i'm excited i believe they'll be about 18 months apart because this baby girl is about to be 15 months so yeah they'll be a roughly 18 months apart we'll see when the baby you know arrives but i'm so grateful and yes you guys have blown my up i'm working on the registry it has been different because i'm trying to focus on christmas gifts for baby girl so y'all just bear with your girl but i am going to make the registry y'all are so sweet thank you for thinking of me um i'm going to make the registry very very soon and i will definitely send this to you guys i'm still praying about it you guys mentioned like doing a registry live video uh i'm gonna pray and see god about it i don't i don't never have that before so i will pray and see what the lord says about that but tell me your thoughts comments below like you, well you guys normally email me but you know let me know your thoughts and you can still dm me because i respond to all y'all know y'all know i respond to all all the dms you guys send me but i'll i'll pray about it and see what the holy spirit wants us to do because i've never done a you guys said a, a registry live youtube okay well i'll pray about it i don't know i don't know what that is so <laughs> let me know what y'all mean by that if you can but um i just thank y'all so much just for checking in and Y'all are so sweet. And I'm super excited for what God's going to do through all of you all. I love hearing your testimonies. So thank you for sharing them with me because that's just in my heart. I thank God, like the prayer reports you guys have and all the testimonies. God is awesome. Isn't he amazing? So I pray you guys had a blessed Thanksgiving. And I hope you guys are excited for Christmas. And we got New Year's coming up. Y'all, 2022? Is going to be amazing i'm super excited because 2021 so much happiness for me so i know next year is going to be even more phenomenal so i love you guys i prayed this blessed and encouraged someone and just know that god loves you you are meant to be here so smile and breathe i'm praying for you i love you and don't forget to subscribe we'll see you guys next time with week 25 so now i'm finally we up <laughs> up to speed i took a little bit of a you know vacay with thanksgiving as we should okay so i'll be back to the normal routine with the 25 weeks next time but i love you guys and i will talk with you soon bye hey guys you didn't think i would leave without a baby bump shot did ya <laughs> okay so my belly button is almost about to poke out we're almost to delivery guys this is crazy but god is so good all right so let me show you guys the baby bump now <laughs> so this is how we're looking 
so I can barely fit my shirts, y'all. I told you, I'm a lot bigger this time, <laughs> so I can barely fit my shirts, you guys. But um, that's what we're working with here. So I'm on pajamas, y'all. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's where we at. See, I can. I mean, it's literally like <laughs> barely. Look at that. <laughs> it's supposed to be fitted, but mm -mm. baby's like, I'm here. Hi. So that's how it looks from the side. The front. And side. <laughs> and here, baby. Look at that. Now, if that's not huge, I don't know. That's a healthy baby, right? Here is baby. So big now. It's hard for me to do my little heart. See y'all look, oh my gosh. So almost about to poke out. I can't see that. It's like almost about to poke out my belly button. I noticed it more in the shower. Oh, can y'all see now? Look. There's baby. <laughs> it's just this is birthmark. I've had it since I was a baby. But <laughs> there we go. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time.